Hey guys. So I have a bamboo board that I got at Family Dollar. It was like five bucks. Um, I actually think Dollar General. So I taped off the whole back because I just don't know how much I'm gonna do. Taped off around the edge and then I cut it out with an X-Acto knife because I do want this part covered. Um, and then I cut around the corners with the X-Acto knife to make sure they were rounded. The only thing I'm really gonna do prep-wise for this is I want to make sure that the inside of this hole is painted. Um, which I can't really do because I don't know how the resin's going to go. So, worst case, if the resin doesn't stick to it and cover it, then whatever color's there after we do this first coat and it sets, I'll do a flood coat um, after I paint so that the blue matches with the blue and whatever. But we're going to do a beach theme. So... I have this blue, and um, what I did was I mixed the Arteza Ultramarine Blue, um, but it's transparent, and I didn't want to see the wood underneath, so I added one drop of the Artist Loft Academic Level 1 Aqua Green, and that would make it no longer transparent. So, I mixed the resin off camera because I figured you guys had seen enough resin <laughs> being mixed and that does take up quite a bit of the time on the video so I'm just gonna move it with a stick right now I'll add more and see later how I want to do it feels a little sticky today it might be, I don't know, it's pretty warm out though, but it might be pretty cool in here. That might be the difference. Okay. I'm going to pull it this way some so it goes down in there. Because the goal is to get it to cover that. If it doesn't, I'll just paint it, but that's the goal. And then we need to add a little bit of blue here to make it look like it's actually connected to the other side. Okay. So that there. I want to torch it before I go any further just to get some of those bubbles out. And I'll have to torch it again. I've got um, wax paper underneath it, that way the drips will just go there. Then we have the Color Shift um, Aqua Flash. We're also going to mix some of it in up here in a little bit. Um, and then we have the white. And it is also the um, Arteza. But then I added one drop of alcohol, like rubbing alcohol to it. Um, I saw a girl do alcohol. She added white alcohol inks to hers. And it helped her get some cells um, in the waves. And I don't know if it only works with the pinata white alcohol ink or what, but we're going to try it because, you know, no harm, no foul. The only problem is you have to make sure you don't burn when you torch the alcohol. Um, so before I do that, I just want to kind of blend it some, so I'm probably going to get in the way.
and I need to add a touch more of that aqua blue. Oh. Then I want to add a little up here that I will blow into this blue. Just to give it some more depth. If I need to add more light, I will, but I think I'll be okay with that. Okay, then I'm going to add a little bit more white up there. Let me sit down for a second. I need to blow it out near the edges too. That way it's not just all in one location. It's continually dripping, but that's fine. Now we want to very carefully torch because we did put a, that drop of alcohol ink in the white. I mean alcohol. So we are getting some cells, it's nowhere near like she got, but she also had a heat gun that she pushed it with and then did. So you know, it's going to be a little different. I'm deciding if I like that or if I want to add, I feel like it maybe should go, I think I'm going to add some white. right through here. Which means I need to add a little bit more of this aqua blue to be able to blend in with the white. Okay. Take an extra popsicle stick. Whew. That'll get you lightheaded in a hurry. And I just want to kind of pull this white over here back over. Sit that down. We're going to torch it again and see if I like it this time. I don't think that's too very bad for a first try. Um, I do know that I'll have to go over the edges after this coat dries and then go over in here to fix it. Um, Otherwise, I think it looks decent. I've got tape on the bottom, but I'm still trying to rub some of the drips, even with the tape there. Okay, so I really like that. I'm going to let that do. I do have some leftover resin in these colors, so we're going to move this and then we'll try something else. I don't want to waste resin. Um, 
so we're going to call this a video and then we'll come back and see this in a few days when it dries and in the meantime I'll move this and then we'll start something else. I'll find something else for us to do with the resin before it hardens. So I hope you guys enjoyed this.